Hello everybody, today we will learn how to insert a tie and a slur in MuseScore. If you used an earlier version of MuseScore, you'd find that the way you enter a tie or a slur very much the same. A tie and a slur are curved symbols on top or below two or more notes. The difference between them is that a tie tie connects two of the same notes as one long note and a slur connects two or more notes to be played smoothly. In MuseScore you can basically use a slur for everything. After all a slur looks the same as a tie. However, when you do a playback, the notes that are the same connected by a slur would sound separate. First we are going to open the song Scarborough Bear to show how you would enter a tie. In the last note of the third measure we see an A. We are going to connect it to the same note in the next measure using a tie. In Muse Score you will see the tie icon on the top panel. We are going to click on the note and then the icon to add a tie. We are going to do a playback of the two measures where the A's are tied. We'll click on the first note in the measure and then the play icon. We can also use shortcut keys to do the same thing. We will click on the undo icon on top to undo the tie. After that we use the plus sign to add a tie. You can use the plus sign on top of your alphabet keys or the number pad if your keyboard has one. Either will work. Save the Muse score file and close. Next we are going to open an arrangement of the Christmas classic Oh Holy Night and Ender Usler. There are quite a few in this piece. We are going to add a slur to the notes in the beginning of the melody. We will click on the first note to select it. While holding the shift key we will select the last note we want. All we need to do is press the letter S. Since some of the notes are on one line and some are on the next line, we see that the slur has split into two to include all the notes. After we inserted a slur, we can click anywhere in the white space to turn off the highlight. Anytime we want to flip the slur or tie over, we simply select the curve and press the flip icon on top. Within the slur we just added, there are two G's we want to connect together with a tie. We will select the first G and click on the tie icon. Now we will use the other way of putting in a slur. We will remove the slur we added. Next we go to the palette and open the lines menu and we will find the slur symbol. When we drag it over the first note, we will notice that the slur will only spin to the next note. What we need to do is to click on the end point on the right and extend it to the last note we want. Like before, the slur will be split into two lines. Now we are going to turn off the highlight, select each of the curve lines individually and adjust the shape of the curve. When we double click on a slur, we will see some squares on top. We can drag each of the squares around to change the shape of the line. Save the Muse score file and close. When you add a tie, or a slur, whether the curve is inserted above or below the notes is automatic. You can change it after. Before we get to the next example, there are a few things about notating ties and slurs that we need to clarify. In the two previous examples we see that a tie connects two notes of that are the same into a long note while a slur connects two or more notes intended to be played smoothly in a legato manner regardless of their beat values. Suppose we see a curve line over several notes that are the same, is this a tie or a slur? The notes here are all the same but when you put a curve above or below more than two notes, it is considered a slur. Suppose you select the four notes and put a slur over them by pressing the letter S, this is exactly what you'd see. Now, if you put a tie over these four notes, what do you think you'd see? A tie only connects a note with the adjacent note that is the same. When you put a tie over more than two notes, you have separate ties from one note to the next and the next and so on. You get the point. Suppose you have a group of notes connected together with a curved line and some of the notes that are next to each other are the same. Do you have a slur? Or a mix of both a slur and a tie? 
Following the previous example, it is a slur when we see a curved line over more than two notes, even when some of the notes that are adjacent to each other are the same. If you want to connect the same two notes that are intended to be played as one long note, you simply add a tie between them. You'd end up with something that looks like this. There are certain conventions for notating music we see all the time. Not everybody who can read music would think about why in some cases we would break a long note into two shorter notes and put in a tie to connect them. Looking at the example here, would it not be easier to notate the two notes that are tied as one long note? The answer may not be obvious at first. The reason for grouping and dividing notes is to make them easier to read. The long note you see here that falls between beat 1 and 2 is split so that the second note would start on beat 2 for counting purposes. We'd notate music in a certain way to make it more readable. We can even separate all the notes instead of grouping the short ones together. But this would make the music harder for someone to read. The next example we will look at are ties over the same notes that is commonly found in a score for an instrument in an orchestra. We will open the sample piece by Antonin Dvorak to see how this is done. Near the end of this piece we see two stacked notes followed by two empty measures. We are going to repeat the same notes connected by ties to fill these measures. Normally we would insert the same notes as many times as we need and then the ties between them. In this example, we are going to use a shortcut way to do both. First we need to select one of the notes in the stack. Then we will turn on notation input by clicking on the icon on the top left corner. All we have to do is click on the tie icon as many times as we need and the same notes will be added. Save the Muse score file and close. In the first example, we've inserted a tie into the song Scarborough Bear to connect two of the same notes to make it into one long note. There are times when we would connect two of the same notes with a slur. Instead of playing them as one long note, we would keep them separate but with a smooth transition between the two notes. In music notation, we would use a tenuto that looks like a dash line on each of the notes to show there is a slight break in between to keep them apart. We are going to look at a Bach keyboard minuet rearranged for a violin. Here we see 2V looking symbol on the first line for a nut bow. For those who don't play the violin, the bow can go in two directions of either up or down. In the original, there is a slur on each of the notes with the up bow symbol with the next note. We are going to add the two slurs by pressing the letter S right now. Now look carefully at the second and the third note. They are both the same D. We can add a tie between them but here we added a slur. Before we continue, we will see a short video demo to see how it should be played. We noticed that the second and third D are to be played on the same up bow direction but separated. This is why we used a slur instead of a tie. The curve line on top of the two Ds looks like a tie. To indicate that it should be played like a slur, we normally add dash lines over the two notes. In the original we actually have dots over the two notes for staccato. We will click on ornaments and articulations to open the menu and drag a dot over each of the two notes instead. For the next two notes we need to add a dot to, we are going to use a shortcut. Makes sense when we have to add a few at a time. We will click on the first note, hold the shift key and then the last note to set the range. And then we just hold the shift key and press the letter S. After we're done, we want to do a playback to hear if the line is notated correctly. We are going to click on the rewind button first so that we start playing from the beginning.
save the muse score file and close. The last thing we might come across is an intermittent tie or slur. These are common with church hymns with two or more verses for singing. You will find that different verses have different number of syllables. In one verse you may be singing a long note and in another verse you would split the note into two shorter ones. We are going to open a church hymn to show how it is done. We are going to put in a slur over the first two notes of the melody in the first measure by pressing the letter S. We will do the same to the first two notes of the lower part as well. After we inserted the two slurs we will turn off the highlight. Then select each slur and move them a little bit to look better on a page since they are running into the text above and below the notes. Finally, we will go to the inspector panel on the right and underline type, change it to dotted. You have a choice of dotted or dashed. Either will work. We will do the same to the other slur as well. Save the file and we're done. Bye for now and thank you for watching.